Hello, in this video, I am going to show you the radio button. So the radio button, unlike the checkbox, can have only one selected at a time. So you essentially have a group of radio buttons, and only one of them can be selected. With a checkbox, you can have multiple checkboxes, and they are independent of the other checkbox. So for example, I've left this checkbox and text item here to add a radio button. Really simple, add it in any way that you want to, whether it's a, an array of children or directly as a child. Process is exactly the same. And you just do radio. And the few properties that we actually, you know, absolutely need in here. Well, before we do them, we need to create an integer, so integer group, and we can call it one. The actual group value doesn't matter as long as you keep track of it accordingly. And this is, will be the group of a set of radio buttons so you allow the you know to keep track so if you select one you'll deselect you know the other current one in that group so in here we need to set a value something this is basically what that you know radio button represents so i'm just gonna say one just keep it simple then we need to have group value and this is going to be this I'm going to say group right here. And a few other properties I recommend as an extra task that you modify the active color. But we're going to be dealing with on change. So in on change, we need to put T. And this is essentially just a template variable, which just means that you know the value could be a number, it could be a string, it doesn't matter. So it's you know it's it's pretty flexible. And on change we are going to first of all just print t so we can see what's happening then we need to do set state the reason we need to do this without this the checkboxes i mean the radio buttons will not get selected properly so in here we need to say that group equals t and that's it so if i was to duplicate this and the only thing I'm going to change is the value. So this is another radio button. Now I think I'll go a step further and add another one. So it's one, two, and three. So those are three different group radio buttons. But the rest of it stays the same. You know, if it's part of the same radio group, then you keep the same group value. You keep the same unchanged. So if I hot reload this, as you can see, we've got three radio buttons. The first one selected. If I select the second one, it prints out two. And you also notice the first one's deselected. If I press the first one, the second one's deselected, and it prints out one. If I select the third one, same thing, it prints out three. If I select the third one again, it doesn't change any value because it hasn't changed. And two, this doesn't go off. So one will always be on at any given time. So that's the difference between a radio button, I mean a radio button, and a checkbox. And you will most logically have some sort of text as I've got here next to the checkbox for each radio button so the user knows what each radio button represents. You'll probably have these maybe in sort of a column form. I recommend as an extra task that you put them in a column form and add a text widget next to each one so you can provide some extra information. If you have any questions, feel free to pop me a message. And as usual, I look forward to seeing you in the next video.